Welcome back to Raven Watch. I'm Jordan Yaney. Several AU teams wrapped up their seasons this weekend, but one team that is just beginning their season is AU's swimming and diving programs. With their first home meet tomorrow, we caught up with first-year head coach Tanner Barton and senior swimmer Emma Mova. So, being here all four years, um, the team has definitely gotten larger and the talent has gotten a lot faster. Um, my freshman year, there was a lot of swimmers, but they had never swam previously before college versus now. We have three seniors that had all swam before college. And now with our new freshmen up that came, they have become a lot faster, and so the team has just gotten a lot better. So the first year is going incredibly well. Last season, we kicked off our, our year with the Indiana Intercollegiate Invite at Purdue, and that was the very first year that our program has competed in that Invitational. So it was great to see them going up against some of the best schools in the state of Indiana, swimming in one of the best natatoriums in the state, and now I'm excited to see what they can continue to do as we move throughout the year. It's been great getting to know the members of the swimming and diving team. They're very genuine, very authentic. I love getting to know them and interact with them in the pool, but also out of the pool because they're a diverse group, but they each bring something new and something unique to the program. Coach Tanner has really brought his own spin to the team. It is a little bit different than what we're used to, but I think that he's figured out who we are and he's taken time to see how we are as individuals as well as athletes. So we currently have two divers on our roster. Uh, our, fa our facility and our university just acquired a new one meter diving board. So the board is currently being placed in the pool and once that board is placed then we'll be having dive practices here on our campus but we'll also be showcasing two one meter events during each home meet. So personally I want our team to just continue to succeed in and out of the pool and win each day and winning each day looks a little bit different. For some people it may be getting a personal best time, for other people it may be taking three strokes off of their flip turn without breathing. But just having those small goals and winning each day is something that we're going to continue to be talking about and we're going to continue to emphasize. The Raven volleyball team finished their season last week with a home match against Manchester and a road game at Hanover. Raven Watch's Chelsea Downs was at the game Wednesday to catch the highlights. Chelsea? Thanks, Jordan. The volleyball team celebrated senior night on Wednesday. Unfortunately, they lost 3-1 to one to Manchester. Michaela Alberts led the team with 14 assists and Casey Gates had 12. All four sets were close, with the Ravens taking the third set 25 to 12. It was the final home game of the season. Back to you, Jordan. Thanks, Chelsea. The men's soccer team fell to Rose Holman 5 to 2 on Wednesday, but came out strong Saturday to defeat Bluffton 2 to 1. Chase Litsky and Reagan Frost each scored goals for the Ravens, both assisted by Danny Collins. The Ravens finished their season at 4 4 and 1 in the HCAC. The women's soccer team also faced off against Rose Holman on Wednesday. The Ravens lost the game 2-1 in the rain. It was the only conference game all season that the team allowed multiple goals. They tied with Bluffton on Saturday 1-1. Despite finishing the year 10-3-4, the Ravens missed out on the conference tournament by just one point. The men's and women's cross country teams competed in the HCAC championships on Sunday. The women finished 7th and the men finished 8th. Becca Gregg was recognized on the all-conference team. Ian Leatherman and Noel Lohler were named as honorable mentions. Make sure to come out Saturday and support the Raven football team in their last game of the season. Not only will you have the chance to recognize the graduating seniors, but you also might go home with a nice prize. Students have the opportunity to pick up a raffle ticket as they enter the game for a chance to compete in a halftime event. If your name is picked, you could win a TV, a mini fridge, or a new pair of AirPods. Come out, support the Ravens, and if you're lucky, go home with some awesome prizes. That's all for this week. We'd like to take a second to recognize our sponsor, Steve Fulgate. Call Steve and Allstate when you need insurance and financial services. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time on Raven Watch.